Have you ever done a bona fide ERP with stats, role playing, and sex as a centerpiece? Circle, so cool. why do you ask? <laughs> Look, you guys know the cumin's coming. Oh, it's coming. The cumin is the old cum. <laughs> I will soon be putting up a listing for an erotic one shot in the roll twenty, and by sweet circumcised baby Jesus Christ, I don't know what to expect out of it or what I should do to make it smooth and hard. Oh, so, oh my god! <laughs> Essentially, nice oh, <laughs> nice Essentially, it's a railroad up a mountain. Encounters will be normal and easy on paper. With normal stats applied throughout, with a heavy dousing of erotically minded leniency, since the expectation is for PCs and creatures to open themselves to raunchier behaviour. So do you guys have oh, do you guys have any do's and don'ts, guides, or general advice in the matter of running this kind of game? Also a quick run over and refinement suggestions to my session roadmap plans. Oh, session I... plans. <laughs> Party are a squad of four fifth level characters. They're escorting a dwarf and elf lover pair who need to reach the temple at the top of the mountain to break a curse on their clans. Elf maiden and dwarf warrior. Game starts at night hunkering in a caravan by a natural hot spring while a snowstorm is raging. PCs will get their time for first introductions here and will get an info dumping about a fort further up in the mountain from the NPC they've been travelling with. Plot progresses when an orc band of slavers attack, and in the chaos a dragoness snatches up the dwarf to become her sex concubine, or their way around. Aftermath of the attack sees party trek up the mountain road to the temple, only to find it ransacked with a pack of humanoid monsters squatting out in the ruins. Harpies, probably. Why is it always harpies? And why are harpies always like, down as like cumin material? I don't know. They're really big in the veal lighters. I'm not even joking. See a lot of the boys in, in Garbo's Discord yes. server. Harpies. Mm. <laughs> yes. Party can then contact the temple's goddess to get directions to the dragon's lair. Party goes out to said lair to fight or fuck the dragon to death <laughs> until the dragon is unable to battle due to a severe case of sex and just Pokemon <laughs> spiralize. Dragon <laughs> is defeated. The party rescues the NPC, and from there, all's well that ends well, as the lovers wed. Right, let's, let's go through this. So, do's and don'ts. I'm going to say, don't use intimidation instead of seduction. <laughs> Them two don't really mix very well yeah. together. Unless, of course, you guys are into that sort of thing. I don't really know I'm not you king fuck. shaman, but I just... How, how, how do you... How do you have sex with a dragon to defeat it? Like, how does with that a monster even... cock? But, like, come on. Like, does it just like, oh, no, that's me done. Go over. See you later, boys. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, what's going on here? Like, you know, I'm just going to put it out here. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But okay, so we got four people in this Discord chat. One of them's got an anime profile picture. One is <laughs> two, of them's are fur- two of them are furries. Two of them are furries. One of them has got a cropped, uh, they've got character art done, which clearly is uh, yeah. of a lot of nature, but it's probably cro- cropped, cropped in yeah. a certain way. Yeah. Oh, what do oh. you guys think? What would you guys do's and don'ts be? Actually, that's a really good question. Yeah, that's what are your the do's one. and don'ts of ER, ER, ERP? <laughs> Ugh, oh. like, let's do it. Not as a centerpiece, but as a mechanic, yes. I've run an ERP with my wife and a couple that we've been friends with for over a decade. Is this like the nerdier version of a swingers club? Yeah, it is. This is like <laughs> nerd swingers. Nerd swingers club. The game I run is homebrewed. To have sanity mechanics. <laughs> sanity mechanics in the ERP. <laughs> but Quality. mainly the ERP functions as a way to alleviate that. It has some secondary uses as well. The characters are all god blooded and therefore immortals who are trying to spread their influence. Children with god blood are a great way to do it. There's some reality warping level bullshit though, and sex with another godbind or even mortal helps to keep them from going insane. As that prolonged insanity grants corruption that forever alters their abilities and progeny. One of our members forgot to de-stress and now shoots tentacles out of of her ears, (laughs) oh my god. No, there is nothing in between either. That's part of the corruption. Now, as far as it goes, that actually does work pretty well mechanically. Like, you look at Greek mythology and it's Kimmer Central. Yeah. Like, it is Kimmer Central. Like, what is it? This just needs to calm down and stop... 
uh, stop having the sessions with just mortal women yeah, all the time. Yeah. You know, and I think this actually does. All them demigods run the bike. Yeah, like, you know, this actually isn't a bad use of it for Godbind anyway. It kind of makes sense to me. And it. Okay, yes. Okay, but don't get any ideas. And make it me and my wife. We're not playing yeah. any RP together. Are you sure? No. We'll find a couple? No. No. Oh. Our group all took turns hosting a one shot ERP in Pathfinder to see how it'd go. All dudes, but we talked about sex all the time. Played COC, etc. Three were okay. Good japs? Japs? Jeeps. Japs. Japs. <laughs> to be had and boners a lot. lot. Oh god. I like I don't know. Maybe I'm a bit of a normie with all this, but I'm really not in to like talk about sex from my mates. No, I'm I'm not Maybe a... I'm more conservative that way. Yeah. See, this is the thing. Everyone, like, anytime like we're brought up on TG, we're always called normies. Maybe we are normies. Maybe we I, are normies. Are we normies? Are we when it comes to... Re. The fourth and last was exceptional. We were given a task to plumb the depths of a sex dungeon for the pleasures of the flesh. I'm sorry, but see after you this You can session, tell this is run by like, old guys. Like, you know, see after this, I can just imagine the boys gotten home and just absolutely pulling the balls of themselves. Or needing to go to the toilet. Yeah, like, like, hold like, on, hold on, no, no, I'm no, just going to go take a shit like, here. What was, that, what was that family, oh no, family guy, the South Park one where Andy puts his balls in the microwave? I don't know. Ah, uh, never mind, let's keep going. <laughs> Each level of the dungeon was more depraved than the last. The final level was just meat. The walls were meat. The ceilings, the floors, the monsters were also meat. The whole level pulsed like a muscle. One of the meat minds, meat minds, oh my God. <laughs> one of the meat minds approached us and gave us a small fleshy orb. We returned that to the quest giver, and in a week, his manner was overgrown with muscle, skin, hair, and bone. Super cool and spooky conclusion. <laughs> um. Yeah. Sure, guys. Um. Okay. Um, <laughs> like, let's go to the next door. Ne- next, next post. Never have myself. I used to play on serious roleplay in Gary's mod a lot. Basically, the different servers would have different settings, like Stalker or Fallout or something. And everybody would make characters and walk around roleplaying, reacting to each other in whatever scenarios the mods wanted to run. Quite a bit of fun. But tons of fucking. Like, wherever they thought they could have a bit of privacy, there were some people who would just start going at it. I always felt bad for the mods who just had everyone's private messages blasted into their logs. I can recall an incident where two people had a good time role-playing a lady fucking a dog. What? Oh God. What? The mods found that funny enough that they shared the screen caps and the lady was furious, but it was pretty fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite server was a Metro 2033 server, where I played an orthodox priest and doctor. I was quite beloved since my character wasn't another edgy wannabe ranger killbot. Once the guards summoned me to their barracks to take some bullets out of people, but the shack directly adjacent to the infirmary had two gentlemen in it engaging in a third display of rampant homo lust. So in between paragraphs of tense surgical roleplay, where I was carefully removing bullets from a desperate and dying man, we were treated to vivid descriptions of dick sucking and a good rough ass fucking. Eventually they realised we could hear it all and began to get so absurd with their descriptions of how Peter's massive cock was spraying fire hose levels of jizz <laughs> into Boris's 10 foot wide anus that the mods had to come over and tell them to kill it. We all had a good laugh about it afterwards. Even the dude whose life-saving surgery was being interrupted. <laughs> well, look, at least they had fun with it, you know what I mean? And I don't think these guys are being serious. I think they're just taking the piss, you know what I mean? Like, you know, that's a bit of, you know, let, let the boys, you know what I mean? Hey guys, this is just a quick bit of promo. We got our website up and running and we have a massive restock on most of the models. However, one of the cool things about the website is if there's a model that you're waiting on, you can enter your email and be put on a waiting list. And it's not just good for you so then you'll know when they're restocked. We can also see what you guys are waiting on and what we should be printing. <laughs> so either way, the models are by far the best way to support this channel and to help us do videos that YouTube would find inappropriate on the platform. <laughs> and like, let's be serious, the models are pretty based looking. So once again, just look at the titties. Look at the lizard titties. <laughs> but anyway, let's continue on with the video. I ran a GURP sci-fi setting based around sex. Basic gist is pretty much no central government in the galaxy. Each planet is fully autonomous and many planets aren't even united. Genetic modification is the norm to the point where normal people are actually pretty rare. 
The party is like half space explorers, half pirates, with a bit of general mercenary work. Party consists of eight foot tall footer with gold, <laughs> with gold skin and yellow eyes, pretty much created to invoke a divine appearance. Enjoys raping and mind breaking cute boys and girls and turning them into her servants and concubines. Sometimes uses surgery to modify less cute captives into femboys <laughs> or pretty girls to make them suitable rape victims. Oh my god. Of course the femboys were coming in this thread. I was really weak. I just shot the tickets this long before we got femboys. A killbot who is busted as hell in combat and likes modifying captives and cybernetic slave warriors sort of like servitors. I assume his fetish is either robotics or he just likes to be broken as hell in combat and having a private army. Blue furry wolfman <laughs> with a vor fetish. Why is it always, always Has been swallowed alive more than once with the party needing to cut him out of a giant monster of some sort. An ambiguously gendered individual who acts like a cocktease has gotten raped multiple times as a result. Players are pretty invested in their characters outside of combat because of their fetishes. The game is still mostly a regular game, with a bit of fetish shit thrown in for everyone each session. A cute boy trying to assassinate Fuda, a plant that swallows people, some aristocrat offering some private financial negotiations with rape bait trap, killbot either getting me cybernetics, weapons, or new people to use those cybernetics and weapons on. You know the worst thing is, Megan, we already described this party not even 20 minutes ago. 20 seconds ago. ago? Yeah. Um, it's, I told you, it's the fitter is the guy with the uh, Lorik cropped, pic yeah. cropped picture. We got the furry. Um, now, the android, I'm going to say, he's probably actually got an Adam Mac, Adam Mac picture. Yeah, and um, the ambiguously gendered and he's weeb. Yeah, weeb. That's the, the, the fanboy fan weeb, weeb. weeb profile picture. Fanboy weeb. I, I can guarantee you that, you that. Although I must ask, for any of the furries that are actually watching, if there are any, why is it so many blue? <laughs> yeah, why, but why is it all blue? Why is it so many blue? Like, it's, blue's a really common colour in the in furries. The furry community. I think it's because of, like, Bear in the Big Blue House. <laughs> or what was that? Was it the dog in the... No, that no. was Clifford the Big Red Dog. Yeah. What was the one about the... Bear in the Big Blue oh, House. Oh, was yeah. that the one? Yeah. yeah. Well, there we go. That, that might explain it. Why is it all blue, though? Why is it blue? It's such a common theme, and I really want to know the answer to this. I've run several ERP games, and I've done them in different ways. I've run perverted smut simulations. I've done normal games where ERP would be done in between sessions privately. Cyber sex with my players has been on the menu. One of the things I like about running a lewd tabletop role-playing game, as opposed to normal ERP, is that people have a reason to stick around and participate after getting off. They're still D&D, so they don't just disappear, if you pick good players, I mean. My general rules of thumb for all lewd games are 1. Check that everyone's kinks match up. 2. ERP or at least talk with everyone privately to get a feel for their temperament and competency. 3. Make sure everyone is on the same page about gameplay expectations and lewdness. It's hard to find good players, but not because ERPers are bad players. It's hard because you're looking for overlap between two already niche hobbies. Yeah, you can say it's niche. That's how you run an erotic role playing game. Yeah, actually, I think that's I, how you do it. I, I think he's actually. You make sure everyone's cool with it yeah. before you do it. I think that's what the biggest thing that's is. That's the worst thing. It, if it, you're it, playing it, a game it, and the DM like, throws wait, in, you know what I'm going to throw in? Sex! <laughs> and it's like, no! no! <laughs> and like five of the players are screaming, and one player's like, yes, 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 yes! yes, 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 yes. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Yeah, no, this is what I've been waiting for. But this, this is how you, if you yeah. want to play an ERP, this is how you play yeah, it. Yeah, I think this, this guy, is how you play think, it. Yeah, I think this is peak, to be honest with you. This is peak. This is the best thing I've seen. Yeah, I think. This I, is so good. I would agree with that. Most but definitely. I get I get how he said it's hard because you're looking for an overlap between already two yeah. niche hobbies. Yeah, like, you know, and the problem is, it's, it's so niche, and like, oh, like, boys are into different stuff, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, you absolute kimmers. Kimmers. Uh, please don't run off to just watch Pornhub. Please. Yeah, please. Stay uh, here just for a minute. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but no, you know what I think one of the biggest problems is when it comes to European stuff like that? 
Um, it's not it's the, not it, talked it, about within the group before it's done. Yeah, that's the vast majority of the time it's not talked yeah. about before it happens, and then you're like, oh sweet Jesus, it's already here. And then people uh, just start to slowly like sell. Like, <laughs> yeah. alright guys, see you later. Right, bye see bye. you bye. <laughs> and I think the other big thing is if you don't know, like if you're not into it or whatever, and it's like really cheesy porn acting level type, you yeah. know what I mean? Like let's be honest with you. Most then the tentacles come out of the walls yeah, and they like, enter. <laughs> most role playing in general is porn to acting anyway yeah. for most people. Yeah. So, you know, um, for the outsiders, be like, wait, hold up here. And I think that's where a lot of the, like, art stories of, like, um, Dander Nightmare yeah, um, have came stories from. have came from. It's just a lack of communication. Can, yeah, with the DM and the players. Yeah. Or players in the DM. I think that's the best way to really sum this up. Like, mm. you know, as long as you're dying for it, work away at it. Yeah, like, nobody's you know, kink shaming on this. Like, like if you want to do it, I don't do care, it. But like, within a group that want yeah. to also do it. Like, I'm or don't out, mind it. I'm just putting out here, like, I'm not partially one for it. I think it's yeah. kind of cringe. Yeah, but I think it's cringe. I think it's cringe. But if you want to, work away. Also, other big question, why are furries blue? <laughs> <laughs> big question big of the question. day guys why, why are, are furries blue, blue? <laughs> why are they always blue well, like, I hope you guys enjoyed this one it's something a bit different I um, hope you guys enjoyed maybe we might do more stuff like this in the future let yeah. us know down below check the website check all the links down below and we'll see you in the next video bye bye